Hi, welcome to Sarah's Sketch Walk. We have arrived at this wonderful bit of river and I, I'm really fascinated by the, the way the water is rippling uh, since my little dog jumped in and left um, some ripples there. Um, so I'm gonna just sort of basically give you a few tips on doing reflections in water. And we're gonna do it in five minutes because we're on lockdown at the moment. So we don't really want to be standing around, but we, we wanna catch it very quickly so that we could work on a painting in the studio. Um, and obviously just beginning something, starting something is the, the best thing ever. So I'm just gonna give you a few tips on how to do a reflection in the water. Firstly, I'm working out where my light is coming from and it is pretty much coming from the top. So I'm gonna put a little arrow. And then I'm just enjoying the um, sun being here. The sun is kind of here reflected in the water and you get a kind of emanation of the light coming from that. And then we've got this tree coming down here, which is then reflects, the reflection comes down. So we're gonna use the plumb line of that. And then I'm gonna indicate where the bank is. This is a very basic, very quick sketch. And we are lucky to have some lovely um, posts here and an old gate. So I'm just gonna very quickly indicate them to myself. And there's a bit of a sign and there's another post just to give us an idea and here's the bank so we're just going to roughly draw the bank anyway let's focus on this reflection so we know our tree is here here's the plumb line so everything is going to work between the tree and the reflection of the sun in the water and as the dog goes in the dog causes this ripple effect so when it starts from the bank it's not too affected by the ripples as it gets closer towards me, the line has this beautiful line and is moving constantly. And then it will slow down and, the, and then the dog will come back and will disturb it again. But the point is with the sketch, nobody is going to know how it exactly was, but you need to just get down exactly what you need for your drawing or your painting when you get back. So I'm going to indicate to myself very briefly that here, here we have a very dark area and I'm going to do it by directionally shading left to right. And then I'm going to darken up my reflection and I'm going to give it a nice broken line. So the water, you have a sense of perspective because it's coming towards you and it has a flat plane. And here we have this little sort of bank bit you can see with this wonderful gate coming up here. And it's quite vast. And then I can just very quickly put in the natural bank here. And there's like another tree here. And I'm just, I'm drawing a circular shape and then circles within that circle. So I know where the bulk of my reflection is and then we've got the broken up and we just break it up and it starts off darker at the top and then it breaks up and becomes quiet and um, has less tone as it comes down. And now you see the reflections have, have, have got stronger because the dog is not in the water and it hasn't changed the reflective qualities. So things become stiller. And actually now, even the light has changed and we have this wonderful shine on the water. Look at how changeable it is. So I'm just going to keep sketching and in that I can put all the changes for myself. I'm just gonna put some more of the reflections from these. And then as I build it up, I can actually rub out areas when I want to know where my light area was. So I can actually build this up a bit darker, put in some very basic lines bring this down, give myself a few more branches of this tree. Coming across and the branches come down and they get looser as they come towards you. And now I'm gonna put in some dark areas just so I realize this is very dark and I have the beginnings of a painting now.
Um, I think we've come to our five minutes. I hope you've um, been encouraged to just start off a sketch. It never has to be perfect. We just have, we just come out with a small sketchbook and a pencil and we could have sat here for at least another 30 minutes enjoying those reflections, couldn't we? Look how beautiful it is. The light is perfect. Really nice afternoon light. And there we have our finished sketch. And I hope you really um, enjoyed that. Maybe you have a river nearby that you could go and practice some of the techniques that I've, I've taught you. So I hope you've enjoyed the sketch today. Please don't forget to log on to the Hearts and Middlesex Wildlife Trust website where you can sign up for the newsletter Wild at Home sent straight to you by email. Thank you for watching.